Greetings, and welcome to a video that is a little bit different than what I normally post on the channel, only because we are going to be reacting to some of the different endings to Silent Hill. Now, the reason I'm not going back and doing this myself is because I believe that the endings, which we're going to go through all of them together, there is quite a bit of gameplay associated with, like, redoing things. So the reason I'm not going back and playing it myself to get the endings is because you guys would be seeing the same things save for like maybe one or two differences. That's my understanding at least. And it is going to take quite a bit of time because I have to go back and replay sections that I've already replayed only to get like a separate cutscene. So according to this guide, which I've already finished the game, I believe what I got was the good ending, the good minus ending. I think I've seen it annotated before. So the regular good ending, the player must save Kaufman in Annie's bar and locate the glass vial in the motorcycle gas tank in the mo motel office garage in the resort area, which I did. And then also kill Sybil during her parasitic form boss fight in the amusement park, which I unfortunately did. And I feel bad about that. The one thing I will say about this is that I definitely want to go back at another time and replay through all of the Silent Hill games because I feel like there was so much more to explore that I didn't get to do on the first playthrough. It's just to get out in a timely manner and also to understand the lore a little bit better because I don't know if these endings change much. Um, I wanted to react to them first and then play them later, either in my own time or maybe for a stream or something. This just reminds me during Silent Hill 1, somebody had commented and reminded me that you can actually enter buildings in Silent Hill. Not all of them are enterable, but that's the only reason why I was able to go into Annie's bar because I had seen that comment. I don't think it was spoiling anything. It just said you can go into the buildings or like you're not going into the buildings. Oh, no. <laughs> so thank you if you commented that because it did help me get a good ending and not like a horrible ending on my first try because I definitely would have gone back if I had gotten something like really terrible. So let's go ahead and refresh ourselves on this ending. Dahlia. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times, restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. Are these both her? That's in absurd. the wheelchair and sitting down? You are the only one who thinks so. Or is one of these God... God Why? in this story? Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. He has been nurtured by that nightmare, waiting for the day to be born. Mm. That day has finally come. See, it's interesting to me. I'm just going to interrupt uh, really quick. Since playing Silent Hill 3, which there are going to be, I'm going to spoil a little bit if you don't. I have played all of them on the channel, by the way. So if you want to go watch those playthroughs or play them yourself or et cetera, et cetera, and then come back to this discussion section. But I think it's interesting that she's mentioning like the thing growing being he, whereas in Silent Hill 3, the mention of God, it was always she at that point. Um, so I wonder, I, I guess I wonder why. OK, I'm going to get back to this, though, because some things might be explained as we continue. The time is now. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. I like the way that she rolled when her eyes. All our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise. I like to think Harry's just there like my daughter will be the mother of God. 
So this is the pre-cut scene before the boss fight, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and there's Alessa. We never truly get to get a good look at her here, though. There goes Dahlia. Quit screwing around. Return things to how they were before. Kaufman! Did I ask for this? Nobody uses me. You won't get away with this. Your vote is over. We don't need you anymore. What do you think you can accomplish by coming here? My, I'd be getting cocky. Bet you can't see this. So the red vial had a little explanation at one point. I forget what it's called. There was something that it was that it made up of. Alessa looks so angelic there. Stop it! And the slow mo throw. Yeah. Bottle of ketchup. Closed up with a crystal. And time stood still. Hmm. Huh? What the? <laughs> Harry and I had the same reaction. Huh? And here we go into the weird boss fight. Apparently someone said that you can actually uh, skip over it if you don't have any ammo. Because I don't think that you can melee attack this boss at all. So the game is just like, oh, you didn't know or you weren't prepared. So we're just going to let you off easy. Crazy. And there's the lightning. Oh my god, this boss fight was so tough. <laughs> there goes Dahlia. This boss fight was so tough. I spent so long on it. The one thing I will say though is that, um, okay, we don't need to watch the entire boss fight. We can just go back to the end here. Oh, it's, oh, there. But I used up nearly all of my ammo for that, and it was like right at the end that I was like, oh. It was fun though. I felt a sense of accomplishment. But man, there's nothing like relief after you finish a boss in a game that you've been trying at for like hours. Daddy. That's Shara's voice, I think. I really do think Harry is a good guy, though. I mean, after a whole situation like this, still taking in and caring for and loving the little baby as your own. I wonder if he knew There's the light. She's opening up the path for us. Bye, Harry. Oh my god, this part makes me so uncomfortable. I do remember this from the first, from when I played it, this scene. With Lisa. Partially because I feel so bad for Lisa. And then she won't let him leave. Oh, 
I wonder if he represents anything in Silent Hill, like later on in terms of some of the monsters that we see and everything. Because Lisa's obviously a nurse and the nurses, I think, mean something different each time you see them in every Silent Hill game and their designs are different as well. Because in this first one, I mean, Lisa was the a nurse that we met. God, the music is so good. I love music like this. I almost hope stylistically like this kind of music will come back, especially for video games. It just gives such a specific feeling. Okay, and then we don't need to watch the credits, I don't think. We just have the post credit scene here. Aww. And then Harry looks up at us going, what the heck just happened? So the next ending past the one that I had already got is the good plus ending. And this one, apparently uh, you had to obtain an unknown liquid from the hospital's director's office and use it to save Sybil in her parasitic boss form in the amusement park. I'm actually not sure how I missed this. Actually, uh, with Silent Hill, there <sighs> things are kind of highlighted in the environment. So you can go around and pick them out uh, pretty well. But there, for the most part, isn't things calling out to interactables like there are in games today so that you make sure you don't miss them. So I think that I just wasn't looking or didn't see it. So apologies for that. Otherwise, we could have gotten the good plus ending. We've got an A plus. It's that mixed with Kaufman in Annie's bar. All right. So this should be where we rescue Sybil, which I never seen. It's so funny how she just sits up on the thing. Okay, so he just throws the liquid on her, basically. Uh, 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 uh. Ew! So they were just basically parasites. Almost turned into zombies. Sybil. Wake up. Snap out of it. Sybil. Harry. What happened? Oh, I so wish I could have saved Shh, Sybil. Don't talk. I'll take care of you. Aw, Harry. Harry. What a good guy. Why did they take your daughter? Why her? I'm not sure myself. But, you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. Oh. I actually haven't told her yet. She probably already knows anyway, though. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Nobody knew where she came from. We it didn't looks like a graveyard, though. Own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So oh, we took wow. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. <laughs> More than so you know you right now. now. Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her no matter what. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so he actually has a conversation and admits that she was uh, adopted here. I don't think I... I well, obviously, since I didn't get that ending, I didn't know that, that, that he admitted that in this time okay and then this is the actual ending like scene with sybil realize the talisman of metrotron was being used in spite of the lost soul returning at last just a little longer and all would have been for naught it's all because of that man we must be thankful to him even though Alessa has been stopped, his little girl has to go. What a pity. <laughs> Freeze! What in the devil's name? Wait, is she still standing? Did Sybil get hit? Dahlia. What just happened? Well, to think you'd make it this far. Where did Sybil go? Is this going to be the same Where's scene? Cheryl? What have you done to her? Okay, so this transformation still happens. And then she still goes down. So a lot of this scene is just the same. 
as the good ending, except we had seen Sybil at the very beginning. I wonder when she's going to come back into play, if at all. Kaufman. It's Kaufman! Nobody uses me. And then Alessa transforms again. And there's Sybil, okay. I'm assuming Alessa is allowing her to leave as well, but not Kaufman. <laughs> is he allowed to leave? No. Yeah, there she is. These pre-render cutscenes, I just want to say, like, are really cool stylistically. Like, they look different than the gameplay, obviously, but they look good, especially considering the time when the game came out. So there they go. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad Sybil actually made it this time. I failed her. I feel bad. Wait, are you guys not making it? Wait, no, you gotta leave. Are you not? She's keeping the way open. Is she keeping them safe? Oh my god, we actually see Alessa. And there they go. Oh, wow. That really was a good plus ending. I liked that. Is there going to be a post credits cutscene? It's Sybil. Aww. It wasn't her in the original or like in the last time when he had talked about finding the child, right? Hmm, interesting. And then we have the bad ending. This is the easiest ending to achieve with the worst possible result. Um, do not find the vial and then kill Sybil. Those are the two things. So it's a different combination of those two things, it seems like, for every one of them. So let's go ahead and see. This one is shorter than the rest. I'm assuming, do we even get to see a boss fight or anything? Is this all going to be the same? What have you done to her? I think it is, yeah. And then she'll explain all of this. Okay, so this is when she says this. Except she doesn't get taken down this time. Does that mean Dahlia's gonna... But Dahlia got, like, a, the lightning before anyway. So even though Kaufman doesn't come in and, like, do that... Oh, but he doesn't throw the red vial if we don't give it to him, right? Are you sure? Whoa. Whoa! Oh my god, and so he has to fight Alessa? Damn, okay. You think she holds a grudge? <gasps> daddy. Oh, Cheryl. this is so sad. Thank you, Daddy. Goodbye. Goodbye? Bye. <gasps> Cheryl? <sighs> oh my god, that's awful. Please. Can't leave like this. This can't be happening. Cheryl! She just said, peace. Cheryl! Bye. Oh my god, that's the worst ending. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't get that. Damn. Okay, what about post credit scenes? Are there any? Do we get any happiness? She's just gone. <gasps> oh no. 
He looks so much like Leon Kennedy there. Oh, is that canon? Damn, it was all a dream. That last thing supports like it was an all a dream thing. I definitely, I've said this a thousand times probably now, at least three times. I have thought that even if Silent Hill has psychological aspects that affect it, there is still like physical danger that you're putting yourself in. There is still aspects that are real to it. That's just my personal headcanon. Even if the creators came back and said that everything is all a dream, like nothing is real, I would still be like, no, in my mind it is. All right, we have two more endings. This next one is the bad plus ending. Do not find the vial, but we can save Sybil. Um, so is she gonna help us? Ooh, okay, we'll see. I was shocked to realize the talisman of Metricon Okay, so she's here. Used. She uses the talisman of Metroton. Did Sybil have this earlier? Did I just miss that little anecdote because I didn't really know what the talisman was? That's interesting, I need to look into that. Um, but I think all of this scene is gonna be the same. The differences just come when he fights. So he must fight. Okay, he fights Alessa here. And then Alessa goes down like before. She says goodbye. That's all the same. This can't be happening. Cheryl? Cheryl! Ooh, God, I love this music. Wait. So that's all the same? There's nothing... Oh! Okay, but what about a post credit scene? God, I love the music. I should just sit and listen to the music. I, I'm going to actually on loop after this. <laughs> okay, so she gets up during the post credit scene, but if she never opens up the way, they're trapped in Silent Hill. But at least they have each other. Harry. Oh, she slapped him. <laughs> Go. Where, where to? How can we leave this hell? That's it? Oh man, you don't get any like concrete evidence there to like what happens to them there. I think that the canon ending is like the good plus or the good ending, right? Though, because, well, no spoilers, but there's aspects of those stories that show up later in the franchise. And then we have the UFO ending. This apparently serves as the game's joke ending. The UFO ending can be achieved in a next fear game. It requires you to find the channeling stone on the counter of the convenience store in the northeast corner of Finney and Bachman Road in Old Silent Hill right at the start of the game. Then use it in five locations. What does the channeling stone do? How, how did somebody figure this all out? Because five different areas that specific. So we have the channeling stone is found in convenience store eight during next fear new game. And that's what it looks like. It's got a little eyeball on the back. It's quite pretty actually. Convenience store eight. I never made it in there. See, that's what I mean. There's a lot of buildings that I seem to have missed out on, like myself, when I played. Did I go in here? I don't think I went in here. There's a lot of health drinks, though. I would have liked that. Okay, there it is. So that's where you pick it up. There's a channeling stone. Take it. And then this should show us the different locations where we use it. A mystical stone possessing power. If used somewhere, the result will be... Question mark? Can't use it here. Okay, so I guess people just went around and in different areas they went, try and use? No? Try and use? No? Okay, so he's using it here. That light... Interesting. Is it Patrick Star? And it goes away. Weird. This ending seems to introduce like a, I know it's supposed to be like goofy, but it introduces some weird lore to, to Silent Hill. Second location is outside the other world. 
Alchemelia Hospital uh, used just before the boss fight. What? The light again. So do we just keep seeing these lights around like the five different times? That must be what it is. And then it just kind of floats away. It's moving in like a sound wave pattern. Third location is the parking lot of Norman's Motel. Um, is that supposed to be a reference to the... E, e, e. What? <laughs> I love his little voice line. What? That light? Okay, we get a little close up there. It's going crazy this time. And it goes over to the left. Okay, that's the third time. The fourth location is in the Otherworld Silent Hill Resort area. What? <gasps> that's five lights. That's a little different. They almost look like airplanes too. That are like standing up almost, you know what I mean? And then the last place is at the top of the lighthouse. If it has been used in all the previous locations, you will view an ending, okay. Oh, that's a lot of lights. They look like little kisses or something. Is it getting closer? It's getting closer. <laughs> Whoa. Now those are aliens if I've ever seen them. Sorry. Um uh, Let me ask you. Have you seen a little girl around here? Short black hair. Oh my god. <laughs> the art style is so funny. I love it. Feels like an 80s sci-fi film. And they brought him back. Harry, no! You have to find Cheryl! You can't get abducted by aliens! Not sure he was just abducted or if he actually, if they just killed him, used him as samples. Damn! That was funny. That was a funny ending. Oh, the, of course, we have the sci-fi credits here. All right, we can sit through those. I think that was all of the endings, all of the endings that I know of for Silent Hill. And I'm glad I played through them, one, because some of them were pretty funny. But two, um, I didn't realize with Sybil, you did get some more information, particularly the like huge drop that Cheryl is not actually his biological daughter, which isn't important in and of itself. It's just that, like he said, that opens up the door for there being a connection to Silent Hill, which as we know, there was <laughs> um, obviously a connection to it. But I, I don't know, I really enjoyed this game. I like it a lot. Like I said, I do wanna actually go back and play it myself and I'm not opposed to playing it on the channel. Just at this point, I want to know more about the lore, especially as I dive into later games, cause as opposed to being able to play them when they first came out, like this one was 1999, would not have been able to play it when it first came out. Um, and then like waiting for subsequent releases. Like right now, the Silent Hill catalog, there's like, I think, what? 10 games officially in it. I know people like really like the first four and then there's other ones um, that are like a bit different stylistically later on. But um, like now I can dive into all of it and I wanted to know each of the endings, like understand the lore as best I could as I'm moving through the games, just because it helps not to be confused. Um, also because that would have helped I actually, you know what? I'm kind of glad that I didn't see these endings. I finished playing Silent Hill 3 as I'm recording this video. And I had known that Silent Hill 3 was somehow connected to Silent Hill 1 because I played Silent Hill 2 before any of the other games because I wanted to get that done before the remake, Silent Hill 2 remake came out this year. Um, so anyways, long story short, I knew that there was a connection between the two games because people said that you can play any of the games out of order 
but it's recommended that you play one before three. So there has to be a reason for that. And I think if I had heard Sybil's voice line and that little conversation, I would have been more in tune to the story. And I don't know if I would have expected it, but like there would have been, I don't know, that precursor to like Silent Hill 3 and it wouldn't have been... I, there were suspicions, obviously, but I think that it made the impact of that game, you know, hit a little bit deeper. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Silent Hill uh, is quickly becoming one of my favorite games, horror games that I've played. Uh, it's just the story is so good and there's so many moments of it that are memorable. Like, I understand how it influ has influenced so many games since its release, because there's just so much about it to love. Like, from the voice acting, um, the story, like, even some of the pre-rendered cutscenes, like I said, from this first one. Seeing it again in the endings, I was like, damn, that really does look good. They made it look really good. If you guys have enjoyed this series on the channel, be sure to let me know. Uh, but on that note, I'm going to say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, we're not alone out there, and I'll see you guys in another video. So until then, bye-bye.